Hello and welcome to the Furnace Core tutorial for F Regrain. The Regrain plugin is used to add grain to a sequence. It can either replicate the grain from a grain input or apply stock grain from a variety of preloaded film stocks. It has been designed to sample an area of grain from one image and then generate an unlimited amount of this grain with exactly the same statistics as the original. This new grain can then be applied to another image. So once an image sequence has been actually degrained and worked on, the original grain can then be sampled and then reapplied to the worked on sequence so it matches the original grain of the overall sequence. Grain will be added to the source input and sampled from the grain input. No grain is possible. There are a variety of pre-sampled grain types to choose from. Before you start the tutorial, you should have downloaded the relevant scripts and image sequences from the Foundry website. Once you have done this, open the every grain start here script and we can begin. When you open the start here script, you should find two image sequences. The first one is the original sequence with the grain still applied. As you can see here. The second input is the grain input which has been removed through the process of denoising. If we just stop the process at the timeline and go to the first frame which is 620 and just view through the clip without the grain on, what we need to do now is actually select the image sequence and bring up the actual regrain node. Now I'm going to be using the tab function to bring up the node I require. You can bring up the node whichever way you feel comfortable. Once you bring up the node, you'll see it has two inputs. The first input is the source input, so connect this to the image sequence you wish to regrain. The second input is the grain input. When the grain input is supplied, the plugin will automatically switch to using the grain supplied from the image input. However, if the grain clip is not supplied, the plugin will automatically select the preset stock option from the grain type. As you can see, once the actual image is actually connected to the actual regrain node, you will see that it's applied a default stock image for the Fuji 250 under 2K option. Now this is the incorrect grain for our actual image sequence. And as we have a actual grain clip supplied for us, we should connect this using the grain input. Now, as we have just selected our actual grain stock image, and we have connected the actual grain input to this, the node has automatically changed the grain type from preset to grain clip. And also, we are presented with an on-screen widget and a warning banner stating, please position the analysis region over a flat area of the grain clip. Now, you must place the on-screen widget on the same area of the image as you did when you actually denoise the image. For more information on FD noise, please refer back to the FD noise tutorial. Now this area was used to remove the noise and this area contains the correct noise to actually regrain the plate. So in this case, we have to move the widget to a solid area of the plate over here. As you can see, it's already working out the amount of grain to regrain the image just from our preset stop motion. Just going to resize the area of the widget to the size I used to actually denoise the sequence. So now we've actually positioned the on screen widget to an area which we denoise the actual sequence with. We've taken the image, actual grain, from our grain clip and sampled it from that region and reapplied it into our source clip. So in effect, we've taken the image from here, going through, applying the grain back onto the ungrained image sequence and the result is this we've regrained the entire sequence just by using the sample area which is correct to actual film stock as you can see if we compare the two you can see we've got a close match 
So let's just have a, a render of this and we'll compare the original grain sequence with the one we've just regrained. So go ahead and produce a render of this. So if you view the render now, we can see that the original grain clip is on the left hand side and the clip that we have successfully regrained is on the right hand side. As you can see, we have regrained the clip quite effectively. However, there are some differences between the actual two images. On our actual regrain clip, the grain is a little larger than we actually wanted. And you can only tell that by actually rendering the sequence out and playing the image sequence to see how the grain actually moves and reacts with the actual image sequence. So to fix this and get a more accurate match, we have to go back into Nuke. 